Hi, have you noticed that the value of options is different to the price of the underlying stocks? The price of options depends on strike price, implied volatility, and expiration date. Today, Slash Traders will share with you the basic factors that affect the value of options, so you know when to buy low and sell high. We'll talk about four key points today. One, how to calculate the value of options. Two, what are ITM, ATM, and OTM. Three, how does IV affect options prices? Four, time value of options. How do you calculate options value? Trading options is similar to trading other commodities. You buy low and sell high. But options are tools to hedge against risks. So the price of an option is similar to prices of insurance in that it depends on the value of risk event and the probability of assignment. The value of an option is the sum of intrinsic value and extrinsic value. The intrinsic value is the profit the option owner gets if the option is assigned right now. If there is no profit to be earned in an assignment, then the intrinsic value is zero. The extrinsic value measures the risk of assignment. The extrinsic value is high when the market price is close to the strike price, when IV is high, or when the time to the expiration date is long. What are ITM, ATM, and OTM? ITM means in the money. That's when the relative prices of the stock and the strike show a profit if assigned. ATM is at the money. It's when the market price equals the strike price. OTM, out of the money, is when the relative prices of the stock and the strikes show no profit to an assignment. Let's use SPY ETF as an example. The current price of SPY ETF is $435. From the perspective of put options, the state is ITM when the put strike is higher than 435 because there is profit to be had if assigned. So the ITM put option has both intrinsic value and extrinsic values. When the put strike is at 435, this is at the money. There is almost no price difference between strike and market prices, so the intrinsic value is almost zero. But the risk of assignment is highest at the money, so the extrinsic value is at maximum. When the put strike is lower than $435, it is OTM. There is no profit to assign out of the money options, so the intrinsic value is zero. There is only extrinsic value for OTM options. From the perspective of call options, the state is ITM when the call strike is lower than $435 because there is profit to be had if assigned. So the in the money call option has both intrinsic and extrinsic values. When the call strike is at 435, this is ATM. There is almost no price difference between strike and market prices, so the intrinsic value is almost zero. But the risk of assignment is highest at, at the money, so the extrinsic value is at maximum. When the call strike is higher than $435, it is out of the money. There is no profit to assign OTM options, so the intrinsic value is zero. There is only extrinsic value for OTM options. Let's look at how implied volatility, IV, impacts options value. High IV means the market expects greater price movement to the underlying stocks, so the risk of option assignment is high, leading to higher extrinsic value. We can compare two underlying stocks with similar prices to see the impact of IV to options value. SPY and Roku have similar prices right now. SPY is at $435, while Roku is around $427. If we look at the IV of the respective stocks within the options scanner, SPY's IV is 9%, while Roku's IV is 46%. Looking at the out-of-the-money put options at $50 less than the market price that expires next month, 
we see SPY's 385 put is worth $1.08, while Roku's $380 put is worth $12.85 per contract. So the option's extrinsic value is high when IV is high and low when IV is low. Finally, let's look at how time impacts the value of options. In theory, the longer day to expiration DTE is, the higher chances of assignment leading to higher extrinsic value. We compare two SPY out of the money 385 put options that expire at different times. The put option is worth $1.08 at 37 DTE while it is only worth 9 cents at 7 days to expiration. So when all things are equal, the longer the day to expiration, the more time value the options have, leading to higher extrinsic value. Now you know the different factors that impact options prices. You can brainstorm different strategies to buy low and sell high to profit from options trading. If you enjoyed my video about trading options, please like and share my videos and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.